Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Damien. He's Victor Alpha 3, Charlie, Yankee, Charlie. And he is, I think, in Canada. He says, good morning, Mr. Kassler. I'll start off by saying I recently discovered your channel and find it very useful and informative. Thank you. Thank you for the hard work you put into them. Thank you. Now to my question. I am currently building my first copper pipe VHF antenna. Usually to me that means either a beam or a uh, J-pole. As a feeder I'll be using LMR 400 equivalent. Get the LMR 400. The LMR 400 equivalent is cheap Chinese knockoff and I've had trouble with that stuff before. The center of the uh, LMR 400 is copper coated aluminum and in some of the knockoffs that aluminum is very brittle and it makes it very hard to put a coax connector on there. Okay, now if you're getting uh, like DX Engineering's equivalent of uh, say uh, 213 or something like that, you're fine. Uh, let's see. To minimize losses as the roof of my house is pretty high and the cable run will be fairly long. Okay. Uh, in any case, online instructions recommend using the cable itself as the RF choke by doing loops of the cable. That is one way of doing it. If you have a balanced antenna like the J-Pole, um, it's nice to put a ball in there. You don't have to. Um, the cable I have is fairly stiff. Oh yeah, LMR 400 is stiff. Uh, so looping it would be somewhat difficult. Also, well, I'll show you something here in a minute. I'm thinking of using ferrite chokes. The question is, how do I know how many chokes to use on this cable? Is one ferrite choke equivalent to another? No. Uh, if this question has been asked before or already addressed, uh, oh, don't, don't worry about duplicates. Um, this from Damien. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> let's get your J-pole here. Okay, you're going to feed it at the 50 ohm point with coax. Now, a lot of people recommend um, doing a loop with some coax. The usual recommendation is nine turns and about one foot diameter and then tied together with little cable ties and stuff. And that works. It will work just fine. Now, the problem is that you've got about 25 feet of coax here. 25 feet of coax, uh, if it's LMR 400, is 30 or $40 of coax right there. Also, you lose that much more of your signal. I don't usually, don't usually, feed... Um, J poles this way, I just feed them straight. But uh, if you've got a problem with doing that, you can always try this method like this. Now, given that this, uh, first of all, let's look at LMR 400. LMR 400, real LMR 400, I don't know about the knockoffs, uh, has a bend radius, uh, radius of four inches. So that means that if you're coming up here and bending, the radius is four inches. So a complete circle can be done in eight inches. All right. So you can do that with this cable. I know it's very stiff and of course LMR 400, like all coax, takes a twist. Um, there are a couple things you can do. Um, you can use the LMR 400 or you could use much less expensive coax like, um, like RG8, RG8X. Okay, from here to here and then put a barrel connector in and put your LMR 400. Um, that will save some money. Also, it's easier to coil. You want this to be about nine inches 
to one foot in diameter and you're going to use about 25 feet of coax. Okay, so I hope that helps. That's what you can do uh, for that. I would try it first without it and see if it works because it may work very well. Uh, remember, of course, that even though this is VHF, here's your house. You're going to take it down to your ground rod and you're going to take it to the lightning arrester and you're going to bring this down here. And this is going to ground any signal that's on the outside of that coax, okay, before it comes into the house. Um, so that's what I'd recommend. So there you have it. If you would like to support this channel financially, you certainly may do so by going to decastlercom slash support and looking for a method that might suit your fancy there. Also, one of the greatest methods of supporting this channel is to subscribe, which doesn't cost anything. And it is your vote of confidence to YouTube that this is a good channel. And they then recommend it to more people, which does good things. Um, also, please click like and uh, share. And until we next meet, 73.